78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So we had the first press conference <clears throat> to announce Earl Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford for Undisputed at 147. Fight long time in the making. Huge legacy fight. Historical fight uh, for both guys and for uh, the overall state of boxing. You know what I mean? One thing I've noticed, um, I might be the only person to say this, is that both of these guys have definitely aged. I mean, not bad. I mean, I'm not saying like it's the fight too it's too they're too old or something. But you know, compared to a few years ago, they both look very much more mature, older. Terrence uh, Crawford hairline is back a few inches. So is Earl Spence. Earl Spence, you know, had like the 1930s gangster outfit on with the glasses and stuff. You know, Bud looked like he was going to a parent teachers conference. Uh, these is grown ups now, bro. These ain't them young hot boys no more. These is these dudes is grown ups now, and they from the scrap. You know what I mean? And um, I can't wait to see it. And the press conference had its moments where it got a little heated. Uh, where you know, I think Earl set it off. He said he set off the uh, the drama. Uh, it was kind of you know cool and respectful at first. Uh, you know, and then Earl cut he cut off Terrence Crawford, I believe, and um, <laughs> they start going back and forth. You know, both from making food analogies and. Uh, Bud saying he gonna fry some fish. You know, have a he gonna feed the he gonna feed all the people with the. It's gonna be enough uh, fish for everybody. Uh, and cry, and uh, Earl's telling the fans he gonna have they gonna have a crawfish broil. And um, you know it was going back and forth like that. But both of them seem very confident. Earl and Bud seem very confident in their um, their abilities and what they're gonna do. Uh, I think this is a classic. I don't see neither one of these guys backing up to the other one. Uh, Earl said that uh, he promises to punish Terrence Crawford and break him. He said, Earl said he's going to break this boy. You know what I'm saying? He said, he, they, he said after the fight, they're going to say, how he keep breaking these dudes? How he taking these grown men and breaking them? You know what I mean? And uh, Bud then promise that they will be victorious. Um, Bud wants his respect. And uh, EJ was telling him, like, look, I respect you now. But Bud said, no, afterwards, you know, afterwards. So, you know, this is this is a good thing. This is I can't wait for this fight. I'm excited. Um, Terrence Crawford also said something that was very interesting, uh, and I'm glad he said it. Um, one of the media members asked Terrence Crawford, hey, Bud, you know, what was the reason that took, it took so long for this fight to get made? So that was – if Terrence Crawford wanted to talk trash – this was Terrence Crawford's perfect opportunity to talk trash and say that Earl Spencer was ducking or his team was ducking or whatever. Terrence Crawford said it don't matter why uh, it took so long to happen, but because it's happening now, so that's what we're gonna focus on. You know what I mean? The fight is happening now, and that's what I wish more fans focused on, which is the fight is happening now. But so many people are so highly invested on uh, who was ducking, you know. Who was stalling the fight? They were so invested on that that they still want to have that argument. But that's an irrelevant argument because the fight is signed. It's about to go down July 29th. We will find out who's the best between these two guys. That's what we will find out, unless it's a draw, of course. But we're going to find out. And uh, I, for one, am extremely excited about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got Earl Spence winning the fight. Close. You know, close fight, but I think Earl going to win it. <coughs> but Terrence Crawford is a sharpshooter. I think that uh, his power is being grossly underrated, underestimated by people. Um, I think that's what that's happening. Uh, but I think this, this is going to be – both of these guys have the potential to hurt each other. So, man, I don't know. You know what I mean? I just think it's going to be a close fight. But with Earl being the underdog, if you're a Spence fan, you're winning out here in these streets. You're winning out here. Put some money on Earl. I mean, you, you you know, you're winning out here. So, but but you know, shout out to these two brothers for talking like men. Once you you know you get on that phone with each other, see the the, the instigators, the people on the outside, always gonna have something to say. People on the outside always gonna be, nah, you shouldn't take this. Nah, you shouldn't do that. 
no, nah, this is what you do. You need to move this way, move that way. When these two brothers got on the phone together and were determined to make this fight, they got it done. See, that's, that's the power of communication. That's the power of, of shutting off the, the, all the naysayers and all the, 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 the distractions. See, it's power in unity. It's power in communication. And these two brothers showed that, and they, they was able to get this fight done. You know what I mean? Sometimes all it takes is for you to pick up the phone, you know what I'm saying, and be a man of your word. That's all you got to do. But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. Y'all let me know who y'all think uh, is going to win this fight. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button. I'm about to hit up. Deuces.